Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on quadrupeds. Now one of the ones that I use the most is the antlion guard. And since most of you have been curious about how Gladog works, I will be using it as an example. This is what I started with, with um, Gladog. And I posed the hell out of it until it looked like this. So when posing the antlion guard, there's only certain bones you can actually move and have it still work. So, um, here's all the bones that I have used. Um, all the legs, the spine parts, and the body, the pelvis. Those are the bones that you can actually move, aside from the head and stuff. There's a few bones on here, like the, um, the back quills. If you attach anything to that, it's really gonna glitch out and not do anything for you. Um, so after I posed that, I added the head and the other models to it. That's actually what it looks like without the, um, antlion guard hidden. And as you can see, it looks even weirder when it's in its sitting pose. Yeah, that looks kind of weird, doesn't it? But that is literally what Gladog is made out of, so... Yeah. I mean, pack is not pretty until you've got your final products. I mean, there's a lot of hidden bone edits that you can do, and... They can, um, they can induce some nightmares if you, uh, don't have them hidden. So... This is with the antlion guard. Another example of an antlion guard pack that I have used is my dragon pack, which I did not show you guys yet, but I'm about to show you. And here it is. See, this also uses an antlion guard model. And I will make it visible. See, this one is actually posed in a different way. Okay, so this is what the dragon looks like without all its models and stuff on it. Yeah, that that's, uh, that's kind of horrifying, isn't it? But that is literally what you have to do to get your quadruped packs to work. I mean, there are, you really cannot do anything about the back legs acting weird. Because they will do that. And, um, they're meant to do that. So, you just have to worry about the front legs mainly. Pretty much, if the foot touches the ground, then you're good. But you gotta make sure that whatever you do to your legs, you always have the feet and the front claws touching the ground. That way it will not just run on the air. Because that happens a lot with this kind of pack. And no, I am not going to put any of these completed packs up for download, but you guys can try to replicate this if you want. And I might release the bone poses, but not with the models, just the bones, in case you find it too hard. But this, um, this is basically what you do for quadrupeds, for the antlion garden specific. If you want to uh, know any other bases, like things you should or should not do with them, uh, just leave a comment on the video asking for what you want to see next. I mean, tutorial is really not my thing, but I'll do it for the people who legitimately want to learn. So uh, yeah, leave a comment, tell me what you think. Alright, see you guys in the next video.